Hey Alan, this is Justin from Porsche Colorado Springs. It's a little bit of an overcast, kind of breezy day, but I wanted to give you a better idea what this 1971 911T looks like. Let's have a look. Try not to get too distracted as we peer around here. So here's our signal orange 1971 911T. As we talked about on the phone, this car started out brand new right here in Colorado Springs, which that's pretty awesome. You know, and actually I've been fortunate enough that while we've been a Porsche Classic partner, I've seen a couple cars that have spent their whole life in Colorado Springs and yeah, it just, it's, it's awesome. I think it's really cool. And I don't even live here. <laughs> I just work here. But I wanted to give you an idea, so I've got our deck lids kind of popped open. Show you the engine compartment here, as we mentioned on the phone also. That big air box that would be sitting right here, that still comes with the car. Um, so they put these covers over the carburetors, different air filter housing. This is some of the electrical stuff that I mentioned. I mean, if you wanted to take the car and do some concourse events and stuff, you'd want to kind of clean those up. But the motor work was done, um, well, driving mileage wise, um, but time frame, it's, well, he hasn't driven it much. I think, what did we decide, 200 miles or so? No, oh, uh, that's actually a little bird fallout we'll, uh, we'll clean up there. But everything out on the exterior looks just absolutely fantastic. I mentioned that all the exterior glass, with the exception of the windshield, looks like it's the original stuff. It's got our Porsche markings, if you can see that. There's our Porsche parts identifier. Let's see, let's look at the I told you I'd show you a piece that's a little bit unusual. Alright, I need to get lucky here. I apologize, I gotta I'm gonna put our Ferrari hook prop in place real quick. So it obviously needs some new struts in the front. Alright. Move some of this carpet back. They made their own little access panel in the carpet, but notice the door. So the door, the access panel right there has obviously been changed at one point. The area of the spare tire, my hood prop's kind of blocking me out a little bit. All that looks clean. There is a jack that's down in there uh, in front of the spare tire. Let's see, dual battery setup. I mean, the gist, I guess. Everything on the front end actually looks really clean. No rust. Uh, I do need to make an adjustment with this guy. It's actually, it's kind of difficult to get the, the hood open. If you don't have it just right, I'll place this stuff back together. Yes. If you can see that, where are my fingertips at? Right there. Right in the hood. Take a peek inside. Uh, let's see, door panels look great. Door pockets look good. Let's see. It's got a little bit of patina where the feet have been rubbing, getting in and getting out. I mean, it's it's been used. Seats are in really great shape. The leather is in really great shape. The headliner, it's a little dirty. I know it's hard to tell in my <laughs> video right here. But, you know, it's from 1971. And geez. <laughs> if it were perfect, you'd have to wonder. Steering wheel's got a little fray that's right there. But, man, I mean, it's, it's in nice shape. Really, really nice shape. Uh, 9,204 miles on the odometer. I'm pretty sure that's not completely accurate. Um, just based on, well, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, this day and age, you never really know, I guess. But I'm certainly not going to say that there's only 9,000 miles on the car. These are cool. Here's a book. I got more books inside that I'll show you. But here's a manual. The uh, I think it's the first owner of the car kept these cool records. Kind of made his own little passport to service, if you will. Wrote some stuff down. That's pretty sweet. That stuff all stays with the car. Tuck those back in. Let's look under the carpet here. So yeah, there's our floor mats. 
There looks like some original carpet floor mats. Pull up our floor. Oh, hey, found a tool. That might have come all the way from Germany. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that on the passenger side. <laughs> That's funny. A little dirty underneath there, but no rust. That's definitely one of the areas that we would look for. Yeah, you can see that previous people made their own dead pedal right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We'll sneak around. I'm just, I am going to set this little screwdriver back there <laughs> just to make sure. Sneak around to our passenger side. Sorry, my video is getting pretty long here, but I mean, this is obviously a large purchase for anybody to make, so make sure you're comfortable with it. Seats fold forward nicely. Got those awesome seat belts uh, that always wind getting twisted up. Those are fun. Actually, for being a Porsche Classic partner, we're able to make suggestions to, uh, to Porsche for things that they should probably know about as more and more of these cars are getting some road use. And uh, that's one of the things our guy that runs this stuff, Dave Petiti, has mentioned, saying, what are you doing about, about seatbelts? I don't think these seatbelts would uh, pass on <laughs> today's standards. Uh, let's see. Sorry it's so dark in there, but you can see that actually looks pretty clean. I don't see anything that looks of any issue or concern. But yeah, it looks really good. Really good. And obviously we're not on a lift right now. Um, otherwise we could see the underside of the car. But being a Colorado car since new, uh, I mean it's just super dry. Super dry here, which is nice. This car is, is, is awesome and it drives extremely well. Um, yeah, I really hope that uh, you can maybe take some time, come out and check out the dealership and this car. Alright, thanks again. I look forward to talking to you soon.